After being overwhelmed by thousands of Ukrainians fleeing the horrors of war, Tijuana officials opened up a shelter. Hundreds more are still camping near the port of entry. Since Russia waged war on Ukraine, more than 3,000 Ukrainians have crossed through the San Isidro port of entry. Thank you I, so have, much, I have five sir. more cases in my car. Some are already starting to settle in San Diego, among them Oksana Mushenko. The former teacher arrived here with her husband and children a few weeks ago. She now volunteers at the House of Ukraine in Balboa Park. This cultural center has become ground zero for fundraising for the country under siege. My mind um, visited only difficult thoughts. She stayed in contact with family and friends in Ukraine. And until now, she was hopeful they could quickly move on after the war. Now I feel empty in my heart. Images of mass graves and people murdered execution style in Bucha, where Russian soldiers occupied until recently, have left her so traumatized it's hard to speak. Reporters who have witnessed the aftermath say there's evidence of war crimes. Fellow volunteer Nina Kay, who was helping translate, steps in as Oksana shuts down. I'm afraid Oksana is having PTSD right now. Um, the, those pictures that we saw that what Russians did in Bucha affected her terribly. Those horrifying pictures of atrocity in Bucha completely destroyed her. Also weighing heavy on her heart is her friend and colleague, a math teacher, Victoria, who stayed behind to take care of her elderly parents. She says Victoria and her family were brutalized by Russian soldiers who broke into their home. They stayed for days, then took her with them when they left. Knowing how it happened, it just horrifies her. And uh, she's just devastated, really worried. She was her one of her best friends. Kay says this is a turning point. Those mass graves, it just, they just, it just destroys me to see what's happening in Ukraine. I'm just so upset about what's going on and feeling helpless. San Diegans like Wendy Sammons are coming in to donate and offer support. She says she wishes she could do more, but something must be done to stop this war. It's hard to just go in there and start World War III. We don't want that, but we have to stop this. Whatever it takes, I don't know. I really, I just know it needs to stop. Kay says people like Wendy make all the difference. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.